Hi everybody and welcome to Daily Scooby News. So a $12 million lawsuit has been filed against a dive center in Missoula, the instructors and Paddy after a death of a student. So the more you read into this story, the worse it gets, unfortunately. So first of all, I'm going to go through what happened with the information that we currently know. Uh, then I'll go into further details into some of the other things that make this story just even worse. So November last year, 18 year old Linnea Mills wanted to do her advanced open water after uh, becoming a qualified diver years before and diving in Australia. So she went to Gull Dive, a dive center in Montana, and they took her and other students to Lake McDonald in Glacier National Park. Mills had only rented a wetsuit for the first dive along with the rest of her dive gear even though air temperatures were said to be sub-zero that time of year and according to the lawsuit they were giving no dive briefing before the first dive they just went for the first training dive. Before the second dive which was a few days later Gull Dive recommended that Mills buys a dry suit makes sense that's exactly what i'd recommend a student do especially in those water temperatures um only the dry suit that she did buy was a surface dry suit didn't have inflation valves as mills was unaware that she needed that specific type of scuba diving dry suit so that's the one that she went for this is what she wore for her second dive and mills was told that she would just have to use her bcd to control her buoyancy 20 kilos of lead was given to Mills and apparently was put in her dry suit and BCD pockets. Not like a removable weight belt or anything, just in the pockets. And again, there was no dive briefing before the second dive. Now, there were two other students on that dive, a 14 year old who is only named as EG uh, and Bob Gentry, both of which had uh, completed their dry suit training about a month prior to this dive. So there are two instructors, Snow and Liston, and three students, Mills, Gentry, and EG. Entering around 5 p.m. in the afternoon, getting into the water in failing light, instructor Snow took Mills and EG to five meters for about five minutes before taking the young EG back to the surface because they were uncomfortable. Snow then returned and with Liston, took Mills and Gentry down to 18 meters. Gentry was wearing a chest mounted GoPro and the footage is said to show Mills standing on the edge of a ledge at 18 meters struggling to breathe and too weighted down to swim up to the surface. Mills tried to get Snow's attention, tried to get the instructor's attention but couldn't so she turned to Gentry, the other student, but before he could get to her she had slipped off the edge and began to sink. Gentry swam after Mills, managed to catch up to her at about 26 meters and tried to help remove her weights, but couldn't find them. At this point, Mills loses her second stage and now she can't breathe. Gentry tried to donate his, but with limited air supply and unable to help her, he had to make a rapid ascent from 32 meters in less than a minute. There was no surface cover to help, but eventually Instructor Snow surfaced, found Gentry, then dove back down to try and locate Mills. Snow failed to locate Mills on the first recovery dive, but on the second dive, she was found at 39 meters and brought back to the surface. So that's the current timeline of what we think happened. The lawsuit alleges that later on, uh, Janine Olson, one of the owners of Gull Dive, told the coroner that a dive buddy had witnessed Mills panicking before the fall, but had shown no signs of distress at 12 meters. And also told Gentry, the student, who was the student that actually tried to swim after Mills, um, to tell him to say that he was responsible for what happened. The National Park Service has already conducted an investigation into what happened also because Gull Dive had not been authorized to conduct business in the park. There's also previous legal action in 2019 against Gull Dive into another fatality in 2019 and Gull Dive had failed to report this fatality to Paddy. The instructor Liston was apparently hardly more experienced than his student and newly qualified instructor Snow was unqualified to teach diving within a dry suit or at altitude and Lake McDonald is 960 meters above sea level. So a lot of things went wrong and a lot of things were done wrong if the information that we have is correct. And whilst Paddy is named in this lawsuit, 
I'm not too sure if it will affect them very much because a big thing about being a paddy dive center and a paddy instructor is that you do things the paddy way. So paddy can, from my perspective, just kind of turn around and say that if the instructors and the dive center had done things the paddy way, then this probably wouldn't have happened. I don't know, I'm not a lawyer, but I, I don't think they're too liable for this. Um, but if you or a loved one, you're signing up for a course or you're on a course and something feels off, I know it's hard to know something that you don't know, but I'm just trying to trying to say to be careful. Uh, I don't like reporting on these types of news stories. So um, do, do the best kind of research that you can. Look into dive centers, see if any of these um, kind of instances have happened before in their history. Just have a look around and just please just dive safely.